Okay, so I recently purchased the Fluval Mini Pressurized 20 gram CO2 kit and Amazon suggested a bubble counter and a diffuser as most often purchased. So I'm actually seeing a lot of videos and a lot of people are doing this combination. So this is actually showing you how to set one of these up. I'm primarily gonna be using this for my Star Gene Reppins and some Atala that I've been putting in the tank. I do have some Java Moss, uh, Marimo Moss Balls, Amazon Swords, what else, uh, Java Fern, some Cryptos. But primarily I'm gonna try to see if I can use the CO2 to, to carpet my, pl uh, my tank a little better and we'll see how this goes. Uh, make sure that when you purchase this, you do get the bubble counter and diffuser because this is how I'm going to be setting up uh, this kit here. Uh, total cost was around $39.47 on Amazon, so you'd be spending around $40. Not bad for me because, you know, this is the first time using CO2. Uh, so we have the CO2 diffuser here. Now it's got some bunk reviews, but, you know, for the first time, I'm, I don't mind using it just to start off and kind of learning the ropes of CO2. There's a suction cup that you can put in there. Uh, if I want to get a glass one in the future, I definitely will invest in that. But for now, this seems like it was what I'll be, you know, doing. The bubble counter here is three and a half inches tall. Some people say it's too big, but it sits right by by the side of my tank. There's two. Uh, there's a suction cup you can use and a little hanger. I'm gonna go with the suction cup on my tank. Just put it on the side. It might look ugly, but you cannot even see it, so it doesn't matter to me. Alright, so this says uh, the kit's only for 15 gallons. I'm going to be using it for a 10 gallon tank. So you can see this plastic thing here. It comes with it. I'm not going to use it. I just I'll keep it as a part in case I need a backup. But I won't be able to use it really because I have the bubble counter and diffuser. Um, this is a 20 grams. You have to see that it's uh, from Fluval. I heard a lot of people can get replacement parts. The You have to buy the 16 gram. Uh, CO2s and you have to make sure that they're threaded uh, this will beat the pricing so you get more quantity for your buck so you probably get six compared to three from Fluval and they might overcharge you so let's show you how to set this up okay for the setup first what I do is I'm gonna unscrew the bubble counter and I'm gonna fill it half with water so once it's filled, make sure you are gonna screw on the top back and make sure that it's a tight fit, nothing's leaking. And uh, you're gonna take the little pressurized part and I'm gonna cut it because I want it next to my bubble counter. Uh, I'm gonna want it a few inches next to it. It's not gonna be bad. I mean, whatever you want is fine. I, I like this length. I'm gonna go ahead and screw it on tight there. Make sure when you do screw it on that you don't get any extra, like it won't pull off. See, I'm pulling it here. It's got a good tight seal. I'm using some airline tube I have for the other side to connect to the diffuser. It came a little cut weird, so I'm gonna cut it, you know, just, you know, pretty straight so that it, it fits in there without any problems, not gonna hang, it's not gonna fall apart. So I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and tighten this. Make sure you give it a slight pull just to make sure it's not gonna pop off. I'm going to be using the suction cup for my bubble counter so that's that's me putting it on there and uh, this is how your setup should look like from the bubble counter I know some people also put a little intake valve between it but I guess I'll do that later I don't have one for this video I'm gonna put the other tube down the diffuser here make sure that it's also flush and it's tight So one thing you have to be careful is when you are screwing in the tank, I turn the valve all the way to the right. So make sure that it's tightly closed because when you screw this thing on, a lot of CO2 is going to be shooting out of there and you don't want to be wasting it because, you know, it could be quite expensive. You're going to keep using them over and over again. I did make the mistake, um, which I'll show you later. When I do turn it left to actually loosen it, you have to t turn it very, very, like very, very slightly. Because once you turn it just the slightest, it, it will release some bubbles in your bubble counter. As you can see in this part here, I'm gonna go ahead and slightly try to adjust it. If you turn it too much to the left, it will definitely overshoot the all that pressure. And then what it did, it made my CO2 uh, diffuser fly across the room. You can see right there, right when it popped. So 
make sure you are tight uh loosening it by just a few cent centimeters if you think you're going light go even lighter than that because boy if i had the glass diffuser that would have shattered it when it flew across the room so good thing this is like one of my first times trying these things so you have to go back and you have to, to loosen it very little because you're also going to waste a lot of co2 that way if you just kind of overshoot it okay so you can see i'm trying to get some counts here i usually check some people say one second per one one bubble per second i try to go for two to three bubbles per second but i guess it depends on your tank size so i'm going to adjust it right right off the bat you can see the diffuser start bubbling having thick bubbles uh that's one of the negative reviews i read about this diffuser but i'll probably just try it out first and see what happens and uh, I mean, after a while, you can see it definitely start shooting a lot of the CO2 in the tanks. And I put it right next to my filter, so it kind of pushes the CO2 everywhere. So yeah, if you like this video, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions or any other suggestions for videos that I'll make, I'm definitely down to do them. Thanks for watching. I'm just a high